Hello ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the brand new series about digital painting for the beginners. Now there is one thing that you must keep in mind and it's very important before you start this tutorial is that it is for beginners but you must still have a basic understanding of Photoshop to be able to follow along with these tutorials without many problems and if you are a complete beginner you should watch my Photoshop for the complete beginner series before you start on this more advanced series okay this is very important another thing that you must keep in mind that these tutorials include the use of a graphics tablet and if you are looking up videos on YouTube about digital painting then I would expect you to either have one or thinking about buying one and I would highly advise you do so if you want to get into this field now that we got this out of the way let's get started on episode one which is going to be about learning how to use a tablet in Photoshop alright so let me just open up Photoshop right here and we can get started as you can see I'm using CS6 for those of you who are used to me using CS5 I'll explain it on the end of this video but do not panic so let's just create a new document the size really doesn't matter for now and what I'm going to show you guys is how to basically set up your brushes and get a feel of how the pen pressure works and just experiment a little bit so I got my new layer here I'm just going to unlock that and then if you come into window and go to brush which is F5 on your keyboard then this little window pops up here and here what you can do you can set all the different kinds of brush settings so if I just select my brush tool with B on my keyboard then as you can tell I got these checked off but I'm just going to uncheck them and the first thing we're going to talk about is brush tip shape alright so if I just right click on here and increase the size a little bit and just pick I'm just going to reset my brushes so it's the same as what you should have reset brushes yes no I don't want to save it oh sorry just give me a second let me get this out of the way reset brushes yes no there we go so if I just come up all the way to the top then here we go this is my brush so as you can tell it's hardness here zero percent um, for now so the first thing we're going to talk about is the brush tip shape so this is where you can uh, increase the size flip X and Y so if you got let's say where is this brush if you got this and I wanted it to be the other way around then I can flip it X and then it's that way or I can flip it on the Y axis and then it's that way or I can rotate it around here and make it the angle whatever I want now I can also check the spacing so I can increase the spacing which means if I drag and pull the spacing increases if I decrease the spacing then it increases now bear in mind I'm doing all this with the tablet not the use of a mouse so just so you guys know and the next thing we're going to do is going to shape dynamics so what does that do let me just close this and open up a brand new bigger document just so um, we got more space to work with international paper and I'm just going to rotate my canvas 90 degrees and zoom in a little bit so we got more space no I didn't want to rotate there we go and if I just zoom in right there so the next thing we're going to do is the shape dynamics so you can increase the size jitter and all that let me just pick a better brush so that's the brush that I have right now I'm just going to increase the size shape dynamics you can increase the size jitter and if you have a look at this window down here you can see how it modifies your brush alright so if you have a look now and I'll pull the line 
it's a bit more jittery alright I'm gonna have this as zero now another thing you can pick here is the control of the size jitter so if I just put it up to all the way 100% as you can tell if I push down harder on my tablet it obviously gets thicker and also the jittering increases as well so that's the size jitter we're going to talk about one of the most important things which is so if you untick size jitter I mean uh, shape dynamic sorry and you paint with your brush all it does it keeps it a circle no matter how hard you press on your tablet if you check in shape dynamics if I pull a thin line it will be a thin line if I only put a little pressure on the tablet if I increase the pressure on the tablet as you can tell it will start drawing thicker lines so let me just let me just start off with low pressure and increase my pressure as I go so that's what shape dynamics is you can change the minimum diameter so you can increase that you can uh, set the angle jitter roundness jitter and all that sort of I want you guys to do is play around with these settings and experiment with them so I'm just gonna keep shape dynamics on for now now you got scattering which can be useful when you're doing textures but basically what it does is as you can tell it starts scattering my brush if I put more pressure down then it increases the size because of the shape dynamics and it also increases the scattering if I uncheck shape dynamics then it will be the size of my brush all the time and that's it now we got texture so you can increase uh, you can add the texture to your brush I'm not gonna do that you can pick dual brush so it will you will have basically um, two brushes on your screen I'm gonna turn off scattering um, you got color dynamics not gonna go into that brush pose not gonna go into that either but one thing that I will go into and very important is the transfer so you might just ask what is the transfer well basically it is how the brush transfers the paint to your page so if I just zoom in here and show you guys now the transfer is set to pen pressure which means if I, if I have low pressure on my pen and start painting so you can tell the opacity of the brush is really low but if I increase the pressure it increases the opacity and also the size due to the shape dynamics if I uncheck the shape dynamics it won't change the shape it will only change the opacity so let's say if I wanted to draw um, a very sketchy outline of something so let's say I want to draw an apple I want to draw an apple really quick like so it's really sketchy I'm not too bothered about it I'll also turn down my hardness and as you can tell I can start catch sketching out so basically these are the brush settings that you would use if you start if you just wanted to um, sketch something from scratch all right so let's say I wanna I wanna just um, create a little I don't know let's say I want to draw an apple so I got my settings here which is really low opacity or pen pressure so I can just start sketching in my apple like so just sketch it in really roughly so I get an idea of what I want to get down onto the page and once I fairly have the idea of what I want I can start increasing the pressure like so and start outlining more so basically this would be the kind of setting 
that you would use. Obviously I'm not trying very hard to draw this apple for now but basically this is the setting that you would use for basic sketching and what I want you guys to do is with this setting because obviously for if this is the first time you're using your tablet it's gonna be very very weird looking up at your screen but you're drawing down so basically it's very hard to get used to for your brain for the first time when you're using the tablet to start um, looking at not where your hand is so basically you're looking at the screen but you're drawing where your keyboard is you know so it will be very hard so what I want you guys to do is with these settings I just want you guys to go ahead and just try to draw simple shapes so I don't know just try to draw circles and then you can start trying to draw apples maybe because that's a very simple shape it got a few bits of detail in them and you can start getting the feel of how the tablet works with your screen and um, start playing around with it and then once you once you feel like you're quite good at it we'll start moving on to the next step and we start colouring in things and all that so let's just say another good way to test or uh, start getting used to the tablet is um, trying to write your name down so if I wanted to write down Lazed like so then I can and um, I can keep practicing it uh, keep practicing this and you'll notice that a couple of times you write it down it will feel more natural it will feel a lot more natural than when you first started you might not even be able to write your name down at all um, but once you start to get used to it how the tablet works you'll be start to um, creating a lot nicer drawings and a lot nicer uh, sketches and obviously the purpose of this is just to try to get your mind and your brain used to how how this works because it's completely different from drawing onto paper so this is it for this first episode guys I hope you enjoyed it I hope it helps you get used to your tablet a lot easier and I'll see you guys in the next episode where we're going to start trying to use color and maybe maybe try to draw more complicated shapes once once you get past this getting used to the tablet and how it feels and um, if it feels more natural than it did at the beginning then I want you guys to go and move on to the next episode where we'll be doing a bit more complicated things um, after you got used to the tablet so I really hope you enjoyed this guys please make sure you leave a comment like favorite and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next episode